Crawford and welcome to our virtual ribbon cutting ceremony for our beautiful brand new gym floor. It is my pleasure to welcome all of you, our Ontario Conference Office of Education, our school board, our administration, our faculty, our staff, all of our wonderful students, uh, both on campus and online, our parents, alumni and friends, our partners and all of our special guests to this virtual celebration. It is indeed beautiful to be able to celebrate a new milestone even in these challenging times. Our gym is a very special place and it holds over 65 years worth of special memories. We certainly look forward to being able to gather in person once again, hopefully soon, to be able to create a whole new set of memories for many years to come. Today I would like to recognize the hard work of our property manager team, Mr. Michael Rambaran, Mr. Errol Reed, the summer students, Andell and Jonathan. And also we would like to recognize Javon Hutchinson and also Jason Pogue and his flooring team for working hard through a very hot summer to ensure that the floor is complete before school began. We invite you to cheer loudly, to um, clap and to sing from your classrooms, from your homes, from your office spaces in celebration with us today and thank you for joining us and thank you for your commitment to Christian education at Crawford Adventist Academy. Let's pray. Dear Lord, this is a, an exciting time, a kind of a big deal for the school. And as we take a little bit of time now to uh, celebrate what we have and think about what that can mean for our school community, for even for our broader community, we just want to come into this recognizing and welcoming your presence, asking your blessing on really everything that happens in this gym going forward and, and just inviting you to be celebrating with us as we give you thanks and praise. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Physical activity was one of God's gifts to humanity when he placed Adam and Eve in the garden. Their assignment was to take care of the animals and take care of the garden. Now, that just shows that God believed in holistic development. And likewise, here at the Crawford Academy, we believe in holistic development. Hence, we are today dedicating a new gym floor. And so we pray that as the students use it, as the teachers instruct, and as they play in this gym, that they will develop into that holistic human being that God has designed them to be. And so on behalf of the school board, I just want to say congratulations and may lives be changed in this gym. This is our prayer and this is our wish for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Good morning, Crawford. This is it. I am excited, overjoyed, and exuberant. Why, you may ask? Well, this is the moment that we've all been waiting for, including myself. Finally, the official opening of the renovated and improved Crawford Adventist Academy Gymnasium. 
Nevertheless, taking a stroll down memory lane, the old gymnasium holds nothing but fond memories for me. It was there that I was challenged to my first game of 21 by Trevor Edwards and I won. It was there that we just gathered together after school to play pickup basketball. It was there that I played basketball against Crystal Lewis, who tested me beyond my physical abilities. It was there that I won the two-on-two championship with Sean Simmons. It was there that I beheld the exceptional basketball skills of Mr. Kevin Cameron. Sorry, Mr. Cameron, that you are unable to be with us for this milestone. It was there that I played volleyball for Rao, and it was there that I spent countless hours in practice with the Omega basketball teams, as well as cheering at house league and official basketball games. It was there that I sat with students and just talked, or shared countless hours of laughter, but those days are gone. There are new opportunities on the horizon for our students all the way from JK to 12. I challenge you current students to use this gym to make your own memories. Some may downplay the importance of sports or even this new gym floor, but sports is one of the avenues to build your character. Sports can be used as a metaphor to life. Michael Jordan states, I have failed over and over again in my life, and that is why I succeed. Allow sports to teach you life lessons that will prepare you for success. And even when you are knocked down, get up again and keep trying. Students, you stand on the shoulders of those who have gone before you. There are numerous alumni staff members and parents who have sacrificed and invested time and money into CAA sports program. This gives you the opportunity to use sports and this gym for ministry, witnessing, and outreach. First Timothy 4, 8 states, for while bodily training is of some value, godliness is of value in every way as it holds promise for the present life and also for the life to come. Keep this in mind as you enjoy and appreciate your new gym. But above all, be a blessing. Go Omega. Good morning, Crawford. You know what? I have a lot of memories of this gym. I've been at this school for a long time, actually. I've seen this school a lot longer than you know. But some of my favorite memories of this gym was from watching right up on that balcony, seeing kids in after school practice their NBA moves and slow motion crossovers, or I mean, seeing all those banners go up. There'd be some really great teams. And even before that, there are some alumni who couldn't believe that Crawford had a basketball team and would have loved the chance to ball against some players. I remember seeing some basketball players here play against the Toronto Argonauts. There's been some amazing things that happened on this gym. One of my favorite memories was actually seeing our basketball players during a playoff game break up a fight against the other team. I saw the spirit of God in our students. And that's why I am so glad that we are consecrating this gym floor so that it's set apart, not just for athletics, not just to do our best, but for Christ to be glorified. No matter what happens here, no matter whether it's old sports or new. I want that when the community comes here, they don't just see Crawford at his best, 
but they get to know the Alpha and the Omega. So, Crawford, the best is yet to come. Stay tuned, Crawford. I can't wait to see what God has in store. Hey, Crawford. I heard we got a new gym floor, and that's pretty exciting. Uh, I wish I could be there for the ribbon cutting, but you know, unfortunately, COVID has uh, taken us away from doing things like that. But I'm very excited and very proud of what Crawford has done for you guys with getting a new gym floor and what Crawford basketball has done for Crawford and all the former players. One good thing about Crawford basketball and that gym and what it represents is everybody that played basketball has graduated. And that is one of the most proud things I've been involved in. Anybody that played basketball has been moved on to do better and bigger things. So thank you all for uh, just being great students and keep up the good work. Because remember, if you do good in basketball, you can also get scholarships and you can also just change your life because team sports can uh, show you things that you can do throughout life and I really hope that you use that gym do not wear your black shoes on the floor please wear your gym shoes let's keep that floor clean and nice and when COVID's over then I'll come play basketball with some of you guys take care and be blessed out of here take care bye Greetings from the Ontario Conference. On behalf of the Ontario Conference, I just want to say how thankful I am to be part of this ceremony. Uh, it reminds me of a story where Moses found the burning bush and he was instructed to take his sandals off because he was on holy ground. I hope and I pray that as you step out onto the floor of your new gymnasium floor, that you'll consider this to be holy ground, that you will treat it as a place where you bring your best and you show your best for God. I am so happy that you have a facility like this, a centerpiece, much like the, the tabernacle was the center of the children of Israel. This will be your centerpiece of where you'll come to share the whole school's time. And I just wanna congratulate you, have a good time on there. But again, I challenge you to always bring your best to this floor. good for a few minutes and then so they're going to cut to your video for the special presentation okay Hey, Mr. Coleman, just wanted to say thank you for all that you've done, not only for Crawford Adventist Academy, but also for myself, uh, knowing you uh, for so many years since I was small and the influence that you've uh, had on my life that's been so positive. Um, from being my teacher also when I was in school uh, and 
working alongside with you, um, continuing to build the athletic department um, for just all your sacrifice, the late nights of traveling and, and early mornings of getting back to the gym and just the relationships that you're able to have with the students, uh, it, it's really appreciated. So I hope that you are enjoying your time uh, with your grandkids and uh, just continue to be blessed. Thank you once again. Mr. Coleman, thank you for your many years of service. Your dedication and hard work did not go unnoticed, whether it was in the classroom or in the athletic department. For 14 years as a student at Crawford, you were there. I graduated from university and had the opportunity to come back and coach, and you are still here helping our students to be better. We've had many great memories together. For example, the grade nine flag football championship and many others. As you go into your next step of life, Mr. Coleman, I wish you nothing but the best. I would like to leave you with this quote that states, stay young at heart, kind in spirit, and enjoy retirement living. May God bless you. Mr. Coleman, I wanna take this opportunity on behalf of other students and myself to thank you for the things you have done for us. They have not gone unnoticed. We appreciate you, we love you for the things you have done for us, like supporting us when we needed it, being there for us when other people weren't, staying after school, staying late for class challenge and just always being there for us, sir. We love you, we care for you, and thank you for helping us for the last 20 years. Mr. Coleman, my guy, I just wanna thank you for everything you've done for me and for high school or Crawford in general. Um, you've been a big impact for me this year, especially because me going to Crawford this year, um, I need to get like a certain amount of credits for me to graduate and you, Mr. Hall, you guys made it happen for me. Um, I don't know I'm your star student, you don't have to tell me, you know, you're a star co-op student. You gave me a nice mark in that co-op class, you know, big ups to you. Um, I don't know how long you've been for a Crawford for, but I heard you've been for a very long time and I'm sure everyone appreciates you and we love you. Um, I hope you have the best retirement of your life. I hope, you know, you go on a nice vacation, you know, have a good time. Cause, you know you worked hard you worked hard you can tell but yeah you know it's malachi two tones we out thanks a lot over the last 20 years mr coleman served as a pe teacher and the athletic director he taught many faculty members, staff members, and students in that time. I was one of them. Over the last two years, Mr. Coleman served as a teacher and a mentor and a second dad to me. Mr. Coleman, we want to wish you a happy retirement. Thank you for all you've done here at Crawford Events Academy. And here is a piece of the old floor, which you spent many years teaching on. This is our presentation to you on behalf of the um, Alumni Association and the Athletic Department. Have a happy retirement. Good morning, everyone. My name is Pastor John Scott, um, Youth Director Frontier Conference, and also former student of Crawford Events Academy. I graduated in 92. I um, wanted to congratulate Crawford Adventist Academy on the, uh, the refurbishing of the gym floor. <clears throat> I remember as a student back in the early 90s, I helped to dig up that same floor, uh, repaint the walls, lay down the wood, and help to buff it. It was a very long and arduous task. Um, I also remember at the time we didn't have a basketball team and a number of us from the very watching all the different basketball teams ever since and the and what God is doing through our team to not just play ba basketball, but also to share, <clears throat> you know, highlight Crawford Adventist Academy and let the world know that Crawford is a, <clears throat> is a place where people can come. <clears throat> it's my priv privilege today to offer the prayer of consecration. And I thank Judy Gamez and all the rest of the team for inviting me to do, do so. It is really a privilege and honor to do. Shall we bow? Father, we're so grateful and thankful for waking us up this morning. 
we thank you for inviting us to this special occasion when we can witness the new floor. It's beautiful. We thank you for the work that has gone into it. And we know, God, that so much will, will take place as we reflect on the past and so much uh, activity and events that have taken place, all in the name of attempting to empower young people for eternity and for this world as well. Thank you, O oh God, for what you're doing for Crawford. Thank you for the leaders. Thank you for principals, the students, the parents, the parent-teacher association. Thank you, O oh God, for the churches and the pastors and the leaders and our conference leaders who have also supported our Crawford um, and all of our schools across Ontario. And we know, God, that in this new year, <clears throat> with the blessings that you have in store for this school, we pray, God, that we will simply accede to your will and to your way. Specifically, we want to uh, dedicate this gym and this new floor and, and all that will be taking place there. We pray that camaraderie, as has done before, has been done before, uh, will be done once again. We pray that community will take place where good, clean conversation happens and fellowship and the wider church and Willowdale community uh, may be able to access the gym and be able to improve their lives as well. We pray the challenge will take place where good sportsmanship, class challenge, uh, challenges, basketball games and hockey games and volleyball games. I pray God that <clears throat> not just that, but also character will happen in that gym, that character development and empowerment through science fairs and symposiums and the sitting of many exams will take place. Ultimately, we pray that consecration will take place, the worship services and graduation ceremonies and other services like alumni weekends and so much more will take place at that gym. Your word tells us in Psalm 127 verse one that unless the Lord builds the house, they labor in vain who build it. Unless the Lord guards the city, the watchman stays awake in vain. And so today we don't wanna begin this new venture in this new gym, this refurbished gym without you, or else we'll be doing so in vain. And so we invite your presence, we invite your power and your hand and your angels <clears throat> who excel in strength to guide and watch and protect this gym as we begin with you anew today. This we ask in the mighty and matchless and powerful name of Jesus Christ and for your sake, amen. <clears throat> Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us this morning. Thank you, Crawford family, for joining us virtually for a ribbon cutting of our official brand new gym floor. We want to praise God for this milestone. We want to praise him for his uh, love and care for us and our school. And we want to especially thank at this time the CAA Elite Basketball Committee. We'd like to thank Mr. Akeem Ambrose. And also we would love to thank, and let's please give it up for Mr. Matthew Arevalo because without him managing our tech behind the scenes, this, our programming, none of our virtual programming would be able to uh, transpire. So thank you so much for spending time with us this morning. And we just want to leave you with our theme for this year. Our help comes from the Lord and happy Sabbath ahead. We love you guys. Take care and have a great Friday.